top, one former member of the group complains the rap group is keeping him down. Robert Cooper, Call Me Coop, was an integral part of 3-6 Mafia during the early years. He rapped on some of the group's gold and platinum selling albums. His plaques still hang on the walls of 3-6's studio. Coop says he got pushed out of the group four years ago. Since then, he's released two solo albums. Trip says there was made those two parts of the city come together. South Memphis ought to go to rap, North Memphis and rap, North Memphis ought to go, you know, because it was all full of, you know what I'm saying, rappers from all over. So we really just say brought the city together. Yes, I was deeply. I don't know about nobody else, but I can tell you we know we was doing with Triple Six. Hey, we exactly knew what it meant. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, you know, I kind of didn't want to get into all that, no matter what I blame God for doing, you know. Uh, I, 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 I hated God for what he did. But as it came to the triple six, I didn't want, I don't think I hated him that much. But I did it because it was money. And so, you know, you could, uh, I even had the, I got the satanic books, uh, the little warlock materials, you know, every warlock gotta have a dagger, cut the little coin stars, whatever, the candles and shit. I had all that, I was into all that. So, because something about the other Bible didn't work out. Something about the other Bible didn't work out. Are investigating Cooper's role in an alleged armed robbery where the victim claims he was held up at gunpoint by Cooper and another individual. Fox 13's Bora Kim joins us live from the newsroom with more on where police are in this investigation. Bora? See, police have yet to file any charges, but they say they are actively pursuing this case. But in their possession, they have this flyer promoting one of the suspect's upcoming album. Now, it is a picture of rapper Kusta, and the alleged victim says the man he thought was his friend turned out to be the robber. Coop says latest album set to be released November 8th ironically features a song with a number of police may soon be asking the public to dial. 528 Cash. Police say the rapper Robert Coops to Cooper is a suspect in a November 1st robbery at an apartment in Raleigh. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, this just on my key. Fellow rapper Justin Little J. Thurman says Cooper and another suspect robbed him and a friend at gunpoint. He says the men knew crazy shit going on. We went downtown to do uh, an album cover for Mrs. Styles. And uh you know, know me of course, I'm so with the shit. I got on the guy that missed me on the cross. Just me, Paul Lord and Juice with Crunch on that. He was a this one part of group, you know, Boo Red Red Cross yeah, and all them other guys. Um uh, while down there is a building, it's called a factory something. But right now it's on Riverside somewhere. Uh, all of them houses up on Riverside and shit is a warehouse with Red Cross and the shit we weren't looking for. While at the same time we had triple six, but then we realized this was real shit going on. It was actually motherfuckers oh, with the little Roads and shit on the altar, motherfucker. We're looking in that motherfucker, so you know, we got caught. Damn, made us watch. So, you know, we even, well, that was the second time. The first time, police were pulled up by men's police said, Y'all shouldn't be down here. So that let me know right then there was some shit going on in this world, uh, in this city by rich folks and and politicians is in this shit. And this shit is really serious. So I told myself, hey, well, I'm not the kind of drink blood because it was 150 some ways of worship to say Who's got Satan's and Pope's, all kinds of shit, witchcraft, sorcerers, all this shit. So I guess I was just a goddamn mess. You get what I'm saying? This shit is real. Uh, I went by Southwind and ran across a motherfucker with a bonfire. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about it, I, I said, I, I guess I was, um, what you call it? Uh, you know, I was a clean, fancy type Satanist.
Some folks were scared of it and left, put it like that. But me, I meant what I was saying. I definitely meant it. I said, uh, so guys, you're going to play like that, huh? Well, I got you. I'm going to make black folks comfortable with triple six. Back then, black folks was, like, scared of this shit. You know, they wanted too much on it. It's basically rock and roll. You know, they said triple C to go, ah. Oh. Then, they, then they start listening to it and go to church. So they said, um, ask a lot of y'all what's the devil. They said they're Christians, but they popping triple six. You know what I'm saying? So my job was to, out of anger to make black people get comfortable with their name. And I was very intelligent with it because I read a lot about it. You know, so I read a lot of books. I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Baptist, I'm not an atheist, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Catholic, I don't believe in Jews. I don't believe in a lot of this bullshit that they make up. It's all to maintain order. Now, I can't talk against religion because without religion, which is what they use to maintain order, if that happened, it'd be a lot of chaos. You get what I'm saying? But. Uh, I read a lot and I put all that into the music and the energy. You get what I'm saying? Because how you get Satan's name going, you get the kids to liking it. Now, today, see, I think we was one of the first people to break it like that. You would think Trevor Sid would have been a rock and roll man. So I think I was used by Satan and I think he's a bitch. Uh, I don't fear him. I don't even believe in that motherfucker no more. But, uh, just to get black people, you know. Once you get the black people, which are the riders of the Bible, they carry the Bible on their back like Jesus, uh, Yahshua, whatever his name is, told the cross, you know what I'm saying, the crooks or whatever. Uh, but anyway, we got those, we got people comfortable with his name and we made sure we made songs <clears throat> the um, violent, very, very violent. We made songs very violent. Um, everything, everything was violent. Sometimes we uh, used to hit me, try to come up with stuff to hypnotize people. As far as the fame, I mean, that's cool. I mean, we got the chance, the money, I mean, we got it most, pretty much everything we want. While 3-6 Mafia is enjoying life at the top, one former member of the group complains the rap group is keeping him down. Rapper Cooper, call me Coop, was an integral part of 3-6 Mafia during the early years. He rapped on some of the group's gold and platinum selling albums. His plaques still hang on the walls of 3-6's studio. Coop says he got pushed out of the group four years ago. Since then, he's released two solo albums and has another on the way. Success as a solo artist has been an uphill struggle, made more difficult, he says, by 3-6 Mafia. You gotta think, I come from a platinum group, right? All the fans, I still have fans who still would love to hear from me. And just to, just to sit up and think that I was a part 
of getting me if it's on the map. I don't get so no love. Now. Panama and Berusa, Techno Riega, and coming back. See the Bush family finest that holding back the Coop claims 3 6 has a strong influence over local hip hop stations like Hot 107. And now he can't get that station to play his music. But now you got these new DJs. They don't know. They just change the whole style. They playing all that down the beats and everything. And now they just brainwash the whole Memphis when they're down to get that from us. I, I don't. I hadn't seen that dude in four years. But I wish him the best of luck, you know. I'm a platinum artist, baby. I'll never forget that. Unfazed by his lack of radio play in Memphis, Coop says he's focused on the future. I don't give up. I'm not, I, you know, something like when you're born, you have to find a reason for living. I love music. I'm not going to give up. And you're going to see me one day bigger than this right now. Joining us to talk about the comeback, Coopster, one of the original members of 3-6. Coop, how you, how you been, brother? Are you staying out of trouble? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's the first question. I had to get that right out of the way. So you guys are getting back to it's a It's a comeback. It's not a reunion. Not, what is the deal? It's like um, a lot of our fans have been asking us for so long to do a reunion to get back together. And uh, it's like we've been hearing a lot of groups using our styles and our beats. Right. So we figured, why don't we just do it again, do it the right way, you know? He died on 10 slash 9. His birth name, Robert Cooper Phillips equals 109. Like 10 slash 9. His name also equals triple six mafia. You see that? Look at his stage name, Koopsta Nika, synced up with 3-6 Mafia in three out of the four main ciphers. He died on the day, leaving 83 days in the year. Murder 83, Morgue 83 in reverse. His birthplace, Memphis, Tennessee. His debut album, The Devil's Playground, both equal 83 as well. Murder by Numbers, the song by the police, released in 83. The Devil's Playground, released on the day, leaving 66 days in the year. 3-6 Mafia equals 66 and the most pure cipher. Kupsanika died 201 days before his birthday. The Jesuit Order, Modern Day Slavery, and Monarch Butterfly all equal 201. You see that? They say he died from a stroke. Stroke equals 38, like murder, death, killing, RIP, all 38. Now he died October 9th, but he had the stroke on October 6th, 10 slash six. Memphis and Tennessee, both 106, like 10 slash six. October 6th leaves 86 days remaining in the year. 86th to get rid of, we know that. Kupstanika died 187 days after Juicy J's birthday. The most successful member to come out of 3-6 Mafia. Society of Jesus equals 187 in the reverse cipher. 187, the murder code. Koopsta died 213 days before the release anniversary of Mystic Styles. 3-6 Mafia's debut studio album. Look at that, Koopsta Nika, 213. 3-6 Mafia, 213 in Gematria. See how it released on 5, 9? 
Like Coops the Nicka died five months, nine days after his birthday. Yes, Coops the Nicka and other members of 3 Six Mafia have and probably will continue to die by the numbers.